all right, this feels crazy. This is something that a lot of people have been asking me to do for a really long time, actually, and that's to kind of watch and commentate on the very first episode of the NES Pursuit ever. Um, it's been a journey. We are like 111 episodes in. Um, these videos don't even necessarily exist on any of our channels. Um, we had a channel called Retro Liberty where we got through like 70 episodes or so. Uh, we deleted the channel just due to some personal stuff. And uh, since then, some of the videos still exist on other channels like uh, right here. There's a show, a channel called Retro Liberty Tribute. And there we are. Hey, the first video too, 10,000 views. Nice, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching, all of you who are uh, looking out there. Uh, but without further ado, I just kind of want to watch it and go through what it was like to throw up our first video and kind of I'll be pausing it going back and forth just kind of talking through what it was like doing our first episode and all that jazz. So let's go. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And today we're at the Orange County Swap Meet and today we're going to be looking for some Nintendo games, some Super Nintendo games, some GameCube games, anything Nintendo related. Wish us luck today on our first episode of the NES Pursuit. It's the NES Pursuit. The NES Pursuit. One of the things that stands out to me right away that I noticed that I never really thought about back then is that we straight up said, hey, we're at the swap meet looking for Nintendo games, Super Nintendo game, GameCube games, anything Nintendo related. Basically, we had no uh, desire at that point to find anything besides Nintendo stuff. Nintendo related and that was it. That was really our goal uh, when we started. And clearly that changed. Maybe even in the first episode, I can't remember. Uh, but let's see. Look at that intro. It warms my heart, I'm not joking, it really does, man. Um, it was like seven years ago, eight years ago. It just feels so pure, I, I miss it. No, didn't know how to edit either. I was looking on YouTube how to edit at that point. Do you know any of these games? Stack of you got old 64 old games. Got it. This is before I thought that I needed to talk on camera. What I mean by that is basically I was okay back then with just like letting things go without any like real editing. Just like, eh, just raw footage, I guess. is. Uh, and some people actually like that or prefer that. Uh, me with my ADD, I definitely prefer... Uh, for things to be more edited, <laughs> for things to uh, progress a little quicker. But this is the first episode. Some people like it though, that way. Mario Sunshine, dude. Mario Sunshine. How much? How much for the Mario Sunshine? Ten. Ten bucks, dude. I would get this. You want to get it? Now I see buy that. that. How much was it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The person who lives with my wife. Huh? Ten for a waiver. Oh, that's your wife. Hey, did you ever find the Super Nintendo game? No, no, yeah, man. I, I don't know. My boy put it stuff today. I don't know. Tommy's grounded. How much is this? Uh, NES Tommy's game? grounded. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah. Mm. What I'm noticing so far already uh, is that the prices aren't that much better so far. Wave Bird, 10 bucks. Yeah, that's probably the better of the the deals so far. But so far, not that that's really sticking out to me. How much for the blue Nintendo 64? Let's see. This? This one. 35. 35. How about the regular? Uh, 30. Mm, 35. What game is that, Ricky? Our best find of the day. Kate, Mary Kate and Ashley, Magical Mystery Mall. <laughs> I didn't know that we talked about Mary Kate and Ashley this early on, on the very first episode. It became a long running joke on our show, like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen jokes. People would send us Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen games. Uh, I did not know it started that early. Uh, other thing is that I, uh, the blue N64 for 35 bucks, funny thing is, I don't know if that's a good deal. I don't really collect N64 as much as uh, a lot of people do in the retro world, so I can't even tell you if that's a good deal. Wow. I feel like it is, though. Let's see. How much is this? The Game Boy? 15? 15? Again, I, that's not that good of a deal. Oh, yeah. They're, I wasn't excited. Look at those pink pants. That became a thing on our show, too. What do you got? Uh, F-Zero GX. F-Zero GX. No cases, but it's two for five. That's good. Dude, get me 1080. Pull that one out. 
So two fifty for Maybe. loose. No, I don't know if I'll play. Uh, Maybe not. I don't think she get it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. I'm gonna get full caliber two. That's for sure. I got that. It's fun. I'm still, still not blown away by the deals. My bad. Dude, another Star Fox Adventures? It's the, it's the one. Oh. It'll play. It'll play. I don't know about Splinter Cell. What's funny is I think I remember the games I got and like losing them that night. Like not knowing where I put them. Yeah, I know. Huh? What about if I get three games? I could do that. Seven bucks? Look at trying to barter 50 cents off. Wow. Big, big come up, Aaron. Dude. Maybe I can take this case for one of them. Is this a I have to take the case. Oh, look at this. I wouldn't fly these days. <laughs> It's so funny because we've always been known as the channel that doesn't do anything like that. And in the first episode, I already touched the mannequin's butt and I'm showing this. I wouldn't even show that nowadays because I'd be like, eh, we've kind of catered ourselves in a different direction. But uh, that's funny. I don't, I don't remember doing that. I don't think I would do that again. <laughs> I remember telling Ricky like 80 times, punch this thing as hard as you can. And Ricky is already a little shy, but even in the first episode, he's going to be even more shy than normal. And I remember he was like, dink. And I was like, all right, I'll, that'll do. Thanks. Cut. That's a wrap. <laughs> you know, trying to get him to, I tried, I think he punched it like six times and he just, that was as hard as he did it. I love that we used to use so much video game music. And then we got scared of copyright stuff. But. Let's see, Ricky's back. Oh, he came back on the wave to resist. Oh, oh, what the heck? What is that? Oh, someone else had games. Yeah. Cool. What'd you get, Ricky? Castlevania and Pac-Man for the Advance. Nice. Dude, this might be Neo Geo Pocket. That is Neo Geo Pocket. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, you're welcome. Atari. I don't even know if I got all the connections. We still don't know much about Atari. That's for sure. It is kind of therapeutic to watch without me talking so much. Well, I know you guys are hearing me talk a lot, but I'm in the footage. All that. <laughs> Come on, stand back. I and wouldn't do that songs. these days. Ready? Dude, Let's see. Like Just do it. Uh, Look at this guy interested. Really? Dude, Dude don't I'm be scared. I don't want to knock that thing over. Don't be scared. Ricky, that like gave me anxiety just now watching that. How soft you hit that. Also, there's an airplane outside. Let's see. He wants 100 bucks for it. A hundred bucks for that thing? You should have punched him. It's in your hand. Ooh, sports bar. Sports bar. Nice. You getting it? Let's well, guess how much. Oh no! I messed that up. 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 There it is. You getting it? I'll say five bucks. Yeah, dude, that don't have How much is this one? Maybe it was just a memory thing. Like I remember deep down in the back of my head, five bucks. I'd pay five for that still. That's that's the price I would pay. Look, I can't believe I would leave that kind of footage in there. Ooh. Wow. 60 bucks for Mario All-Star. What'd you got? How much? 35. It blows my mind that so far the prices aren't that cheap. Yeah, some of the things are. Obviously, as the show went on, we got tons of good deals. Maybe even still on this episode. But it looks like so far, nothing where I'm like, wow, this is going to be mind-blowing for people to watch with the deals we get. So, let's see. I, I, I remember correctly, too, this video the first time around, our first video ever with no connections got like a thousand views. And we were like, wow, I can't believe that many people watch this. Especially now looking back, being like, we really didn't... 
get much, unless in the pickup video at the end, which we used to do, there's more. I need a new original NES. I said I need a new original NES. The pink pants became a thing on the show, too. Which I like. Are you serious? Did you ever get it? Nicole would love to. Nintendo games? Four. Four each. It's kind of hard to hear me. Wow. Prisoners of War. Yeah, that's a fun game. Little Samson. Snow Brothers. What a dork. Three for ten. Still a dork. Three for ten. I would have picked up Prisoners of War now for four bucks. Dude, Blue Genie for Super Nintendo. Five bucks. Do you have an old Nintendo, the system? system you don't have okay, no problem. You can tell without a proper microphone, so all the rattling. Check the Here in the background. That would drive me nuts. Somehow that can basically become a staple. Crap. I mean, sorry. A staple of crap. So it looks like you got that game genie for five bucks. That, that's a, that's a, that's Thanks, a deal. Man. That's a, could still do. Did you see that cut? Hey guys, Aaron and Ricky here from the NAS. So before we go on, uh, yeah, back in the day we would do pickup videos at the end, which became a big thing for us. They got really silly, really crazy, even like really produced. This one, not so much, but, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at me right there. Son of a, what I'm going to, I'm going to move myself real quick too. See if I uh, remember how to do this. Unlock. There we go. I'm going to put me right here. I'm even going to move my name. Moink. All right. Let, let's continue. Um, today we got to go out to the Orange County Swap Meet. We got to look at some games. We didn't get to stay out as long as we would have liked today on the first episode. Just kind of a bummer. We got lighting. Sorry. We got some good games in the time we were there. Ricky, you can share first what you got. Nice. <laughs> we're so Thanks awkward. Game Genie. Don't worry, not for 20 bucks. Only for about 5 bucks. Okay. Super Nintendo. It's pretty good. Wave Bird for the GameCube, the wireless remote. Ricky had to come back twice for that. With the like adapter. First thing in the morning, he didn't want to pay 10 bucks. Okay. 10 bucks still. End of the day. But I can tell I want to be Ricky. I can see it in me, knowing me, knowing who I am. I've always been extremely loud, extremely crazy, extremely goofy, annoying, all the above. And I can tell here I like want to do it, but don't think I like should do it. I can just tell. I know me. And then poor Ricky. I'm like, Ricky, let's get on camera. He's like, I love games, but I don't know if I want to be on camera. But look at us now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Tetris. Didn't really want it, but the wife wanted it. Tetris? Well, that's true. Here we go. And say how and much? with that one came this one. I got him two for five, so Echo? might as well just throw that one in. We don't collect too much like Genesis or PlayStation or anything like that. But so we, we did like buy. Games. We don't hate on the other systems. We did buy non Nintendo. Got me some Street Fighter for okay. the Super Nintendo. How much, Ricky? And Mortal Kombat. Five bucks each. Five each. Nice. That's Take fun. that. And then. Doable. For the Game Boy Advance, got me some Castlevania, some Spy Hunter, and whatever that is. Super Sprint. Didn't understand what the heck this was. I know it's for Game, game Boy Advance. It looks cool, so it's kind of fun to get. And so funny, the camera quality is so bad, even with him showing, it's like, don't know what that was. Don't, <laughs> no idea what he just showed us. I don't know where I somehow ended up with a Neo Geo Pocket game. So we don't have any Neo Geo Pockets, but in my company. And your last, my, oh no, two more things, go ahead. Well, you usually got free with the weight bird. I think that's pretty awesome. Free with it? Okay, okay. Yeah, Super Mario 3, but it's still just had yeah, Super Mario 3 on the cover. But. Probably the coolest thing of the day, this four score. NES. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I'm looking, thinking about like Super Dog Ball, Super Dog Gauntlet. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. What did I put there? Oh, look, I want to be goofy. Just realized I don't know what this says. I'm not gonna move it. Wow. So that's all Ricky's fine. Okay, for me, I didn't get that My much. first attempt at being silly. I wanted to pretty much just get Nintendo games like original NES, but I got none, which is weird because I normally see a ton. Um, I actually got these kind of for my kid because I don't really play Game Boy too much. But um, golf, I actually got it free with some of the stuff. Another GameCube game that I bought, I'll show you. Uh, 
I don't think my kid ever got those games. So I'll be real. BattleBots. I don't know anything about it, but I got it for a dollar because I just figured my kid would enjoy it. Also, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. And another one I got free is I said, hey, this doesn't have anything on it. So just uh, can I have it with it? And she said, sure. That went on to being a series called Faceless Games on our show, where we would pick up games that we didn't know what they were, and then we'd play them. It used to be called like Mystery Carts on Retro Hunters, their old channel. By the way, yeah, my kids never got those games. That's for sure. I was able to get these three for seven dollars, which huh? isn't bad, but there's no cases or anything. So oh, the GameCube game. I figured at three for seven, it's not a bad deal. Take it. It's for GameCube. I got Soul Calibur Two. Nice. F Zero G X. And these aren't scratched. So far, so stuff. good. And then Star Fox Adventures, which I don't have a case for, but a lot That's of people. Good. Some people hate this game. Some people love it. I personally only played it momentarily as a kid. Three for seven. That's a good deal. I'll take that. So, uh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. And last one I got five bucks. I say a good deal for this uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. It does. That's the best deal of the day. And everything. And I know we walked to a store. I don't know why we didn't film that. That's the best deal of the day. I'd say for Ricky, that wave bird with the receiver, with the book, that booklet. And then for me, that double dash for five bucks. Jeez Louise. Five minutes after, it was like $35 at a reseller. So with a manual. That's all we got today. This is our first. So that was one of our first, like, I'd say like, oh, we got it. And then saw it also on the spot that same day, knowing, okay, this is, this is worth a decent amount of money. I don't think the wave bird at the time we were really like, oh, this is a big score, big come up. But that one right there, it was clear to me at the time. Apparently, I knew that it was worth a decent amount. Because back then, we weren't really like trying to find the epic scores. It was more just like, what do we want to buy? Because this is, you know, we don't really have much at this point. We kind of collected on and off through our childhood together, you know, since junior high. So, yeah, let's see. So, so very excited. We have a lot of things in store. We're not going to only do swaggy pickups. We want to do like reviews and games, anything Nintendo related. We're kind of dorks in that way to where we do play quite a lot of games every weekend we actually have played like over 700 nintendo games yeah NES, so. i forgot about that before we started the show we were going to call ourselves the nes pursuit yes we're hardcore nintendo fans we love nintendo but we decided that we wanted to play and we did it through emulation every nintendo game in existence for at least 15 minutes and we did that and it took us quite a while but we did it now we're like okay now we can justify ourselves being the nes pursuit that's just what we did. Yeah. A lot of time away from the family. But that's it for now. So thank you guys so much. And um, hopefully we see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, I missed that. I missed that so much. Well, I love that I would like put produced by Aaron Stapish and Ricky Avila. Like we really produced that show. We put a lot of production into that. There was no production. That was uh, us figuring things out. Man, what a trip to watch that. You know what? That is, I would say the honest word uh, is a blessing to that people left this, that, that fans of the old show, and I, I don't like the word fans, by the way, but I would say, you know, if they did this, they must have been a fan, even though I don't like that word. They, they, they took what we did and they cared enough to make a channel after we deleted our channel. These, these weren't up during when our channel was up, you know, they, they put them there to lock them in. Uh, and for me, it's been a blessing because when this, when I first started watching this just now, even though I've seen it a hundred times, uh, I could like feel like some emotions coming almost like a little water in my eyes because there's just something special about to watching your art, your hobby, your craft, even though there wasn't much of a craft to it at the point at, in this video at that point, but it was just so special to us and it still is. And it's become even more special. Uh, with the community and the stories that we now have and the backstories and the people we've met. Uh, but it's just crazy to know that we cared enough about this to want to just be like, you want to just buy a camera and I'll learn how to edit and, you know, make this journey a part of our lives. And the things that have happened along the way from that day to now, that's about eight years ago, uh, I could have never imagined the, the, the friends that I've made now, the friends that I have, um, the community that we've built, uh, the things I've learned, the things that I've changed in my life. I mean, I've went to become a professional editor. I've done this for a living for big networks and studios and 
uh, hosting different things and all this because of this and traveling the world literally because of this. Uh, it's mind blowing to me. Uh, it's the coolest thing ever. I am beyond thankful for where we are now with this. You know, we don't we don't do this. Every single one of us on the show has a, a real job as people want it. Whatever you your thoughts are on that. Whatever we work full time. Uh, jobs you know besides this this isn't our income our living it's just a passion we have fun doing it um so thankful that you guys uh that you guys have been there with us if you guys were here during episode one i'm, I'm pointing over there because that's where it is for me uh that's insane thank you uh and thank you to you guys that are here now uh it's been it has changed my life in every way i could have never imagined um it's just I don't know what I'd be doing. And I don't mean that like, oh, I'd be on the streets or something. I just mean like, this is my hobby, my 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 absolute hobby. You know, my family, my job, all that extra, that stuff, that stuff that I do that are the number one things in my life. But when it comes to my free time and my hobbies, this is where my heart is, is this community, this gaming community, game hunting. Uh, now with COVID, obviously not game hunting as much uh, or at all right now because it's not allowed but uh, just being with you guys. So thank you for uh, new, old, young, whatever, anything since the beginning, brand new. This is the first video you've ever seen. Uh, any of that. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, but that's it. That's all I have to say. Like I'm me getting emotional. All right, I'm out of here. Uh, I have some more cool stuff coming in the background to, to brighten up this area. Some fun stuff. I just set up a, an office in here. So all right, you guys. Adios. Thanks again. I really mean it, you guys. Have a good day. See ya.